Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to add a custom tile to an Office 365 app launcher. First, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Essentially, I'm talking about this right here, this tile over here in my app launcher. Um, and you know, essentially, the idea is that, let's say, it's a custom tile I added. And the idea is that I could be anywhere in my intranet. And then if all of a sudden I need to go to a specific URL, in this case, uh, it's my company is, um, you know, home site, right? You know, main landing page. Here we go. Just by clicking on this link, you can go straight to uh, your main landing page or whatever URL you decide uh, to, uh, to, to uh, link in there. All right. So um, essentially all of this tiles that you get to see here, this are out of the box tiles, right? This is just apps. I have part of my Office 365 subscription. Everyone gets to see them. Uh, but what if I want my users to also see this custom tile? So let me walk you through the steps on how to do that. Um, so very important, you need to be a, a global admin, an Office 365 global, global admin uh, in order to do that. If you are a SharePoint admin, not enough. You need to be an Office 365 global admin. All right, so um, here are the steps. You need to navigate to the Office 365 app launcher. I'm already here. Click the admin tile. And under settings, you click on org settings, and then you click on organization profile. All right. And there are several options here. I actually did a video already on how to, you know, customize, you know, the, the, the theme and the logo in the upper left hand corner over here. Um, but today I'm going to explain to you how to add this uh, tile to the Office 365 launcher. So for that, we need to click here. All right. And if you notice, I already have one. I already have one. Essentially, that's the one you saw um, just a minute ago. Uh, we are going to create another custom tile. And it's pretty straightforward. So you just fill in the blanks. Um, so let's just say we want it. Uh, we, let's call this home page, you know, whatever you want to call it. URL of the site, that would be the URL where you want to um, um, you know, your um, internet or whatever you really want to point to. So I'm going to copy that. Here we go. All right. Uh, next URL of the image. You cannot upload the image. You actually have to specify the URL of the image. So what I did, uh, what I did, uh, I pretty much uploaded my image into the site assets library of the site. All right. Uh, let's navigate that there. Let me show you uh, what it is. So here we go. Site asset library. And you can upload it anywhere. I just thought site asset library would be the appropriate place. This way, nobody can accidentally maybe delete it uh, because it's not part of the regular documents library. Here it is. Here's the uh, here's the um, uh, image. Uh, it could be, of course, any image. Now, very, very important. There are a couple of main prerequisites. Uh, first of all, it has to be a really tiny image. Uh, it has to be um you know 60 by 60 pixels uh and also uh when you generate the link because remember it's asking you for the url here uh make sure to generate this kind of link right here so you do copy link make sure to generate any one link all right any one link of course is the type of link that uh, does not require any uh you know authentication any you know people to log in or any passwords right um, after all, you want this image to be available to everyone. So just make sure for this particular image, generate this particular URL, copy, and then we go ahead and paste it. And then, um, you know, description just to let everyone know what it is that, uh, that you're linking to, um, portals, um, internet or something. I, I don't know. We'll uh, just some, type in something. And you click Save Changes. All right, that's it. Uh, pretty much you're done. Well, we are done. So if you notice, right, I added another tile. Now, it's not going to appear immediately. It's not going to appear immediately. Like if I click here, you see it's not here. It's not going to appear immediately. Uh, it does take some time, sometimes maybe up to 24 hours. But what will happen, let me explain to you actually what will happen next. Uh, it's also not going to appear immediately here as, you know, as well, even after 24 hours. What will happen is, uh, if you click on all apps, if users click on all apps, they will get to see the, um, you know, the, the tiles added by the admin, all right? And essentially, you know, they will need to manually pin them. You see, I already pinned it 
to my own app launcher. So essentially, even though you add a tile, you cannot enforce it on, every, on a, a, everyone, all right? It will just suggest the style to the users, make it available, if you will, and then the users can, you know, pin the um, the tile to the app launcher, which is essentially already did, something already did, all right? Uh, but again, so we, we just have to wait for this new tile to appear. Once it appears, the users, each and every user, they have to do it manually. They have to pin it to their app launcher. And once that happens, the, um, the uh, you know, the, essentially the tile uh, with the description and everything will appear in the app launcher uh, and will link to whatever site you link to, right? So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, I think it's a great technique. Um, to to utilize if you have kind of the main home site, right, the main landing page, and you want everyone to know about it, you want obviously an easy way uh, for your users to navigate. Uh, so I think it's a nice little trick to use. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.